people of Earth! Welcome back <laughs> to Con <Constantine>. 2. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> and today, we're just going to be showing what we've done off camera because. Because well, we can. Everything we do off camera, the day before I actually record it, we normally get raided and I get really annoyed because I can never show it off, but I'm going to show you anyway now. So basically, this is our space station. This is our. 401. Nuclear <laughs> reactor or fusion reactor. Generates us a lot of power, requires a lot of fuel, if I can get into it. Oh. Uh, for, oh crap, we need to fill it up soon. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we got solar panels there, just for backup power for our oxygen distributors. We need these because we are in space. If I take all these off, for example, and jump outside these blue bubbles, which are the oxygen bubbles. Yeah, I take damage, see? Oh. One sec, I need to put my game sound on. Seems I have not done that. Um, oh, Mitch, come on! Right, <laughs> Mitch, come on! Mitch! This is our force field system here. Oh, right. Mitch, what are you doing? Show it all off. So here's the actual force field with all the upgrades and stuff. Uh, there's a stack of shock modules in there, and that dirt, like whoever touches that gets 32 hearts of damage done to them. So even if you're in the best armor, it will probably kill you, as Mitch has done before. Jack, would you be able to demonstrate it again? Uh, yeah, it's take, in my armor. Take all your armor off. Take everything off so you don't lose it this time. And just jump out into the force field. <laughs> that was, I forgot to take my armor off. I took my oxygen stuff out, but I didn't take anything else. And I was like, yeah. oh. Well, no, basically, be, these um, things here are the things that generate the power for the force field. They're called... Uh, just, break this block. Like, oh, never mind. Co Coricon Deriver. Can't really pronounce that. And then we've got the capacitor here, which stores it up and then feeds it into the interdiction matrix, the biometric identifier and the force field. But currently, those two blocks there that I'm punching do not work. And Jack, can you not turn that off, please? Awesome. Look, right. When it when it comes back on, jump into it, yeah? <laughs> yeah, and then the people of the world can see what it feels like to get, um, well, demolished, I should say. Fried, like a crisp. <laughs> Wait for it to load up. Oh, yeah, we have laser turrets on here because recently people have been trying to get to our base of nether portals and they're spawning up on top of there. So we put oh, laser turrets up oh, here. So so they the do day get in, we found a chest shot. with um, rocket and rocket landed and stuff. What? There's a chest when they're on top of. Oh yeah, the... somebody teleported to us with a well came here in a rocket <laughs> to our space <laughs> station, and the funny thing was it spawned all of his stuff on here in a chest. And he was stuck in a stuck in a small room down there, the spawn point, which we blocked off because we don't really want people coming in our base and destroying it. They still survive in there; they just can't roam around, and smash everything up in our base. But he lost his rocket, and we got that now. Uh, yeah, do you want to go show off the force field? What it can do to scumbags who <laughs> come and invade? Yeah, let's go. You ready? Oh, Mitch is here. I don't want him to die. He won't die. He'll teleport back. Just guys, have you seen my robot? Where is he? There he is. There. Guys, this is Mitch. Oops. Oh, oh, there, oh, let's leave him there. He won't move on. Wait, let me stop Wait, him. Go. I'll put him to the foot. Oh, no, mind. Aww. Right. Guys, this is what it feels like to get fried. You ready? Three, two, one, go. go. Dun, dun. Oh, you're getting. Losing oxygen. And then, well, he just disappeared. But yeah, he <laughs> died. He had. He had. Um. 32 hearts of damage done to him, which would have killed any person very quickly. So, yeah, I'll show you the inside now. I just need to cover this back up because so you put my stuff back on. I don't want people seeing the secrets. Even though you Alex, do you have any obsidian in the thing? Yeah, we've loads from the nether portals. Right, I'll show you the interior now, folks. Right. So, this is our little machine room. Very basic so machine room. Now. Very advanced machine Alex, room. Alex, you haven't got, got that much obsidian. I know, just search for it, Jack. Uh, we have laser turrets through these corridors, so if people breach in through the roof of these corridors, they'll get shot by the laser turrets. Hopefully these will keep the base alive. And we've got some more here. I'll show you that room in a minute. We've got some more here and this room. Right, in here we have the machines that make the fuel for our fusion reactor, or nuclear reactor, whatever you want to call it. And this also charges our oxygen. Oxygen oh. compressors, which fill our oxygen gear up, these things here. I was like, I'll show you Currently, now. this one doesn't work, but yeah, stick yours in the broken one, Jack, see if it works. I don't know if it's fixed. Oh, oh, it's fixed now. Well, that's strange, it wasn't working yesterday. As you see, guys, the... Oh, shit. Oh. oh, I got it, I'll put it in there. 
Right there, you can see the numbers going up, and you've just taken it out. Um, yeah. So, uh, right. what else? Oh, have you shown them the laser turrets are? Uh, yeah, I'm going to show them the storage. All right. So down here, this is our main room oh, here, you where Come we on, have bitch. our lovely ender chest full of stuff. Uh, tinker table, which I'll tell you about another episode because we're not using it right now. Don't think we will use it. The ME storage. Loads of you don't know what any. Well, some of you may not know what this is. Basically, it's the best way for storing things. So as you can see, we got all of our items in this, and they are saved on these tiny little oh. storage drives. Jack, be quiet a minute. Oh so, no. What have you done? Basically, you can get different types of storage drives. We got 16k. That's allowed up to uh, 64 different items. Well, 63 different items. But uh, if you have more than one of the same item, it'll start taking up the bytes. So it can hold that amount of bytes, 16,384 bytes. And each item has a certain amount of bytes for it. But yeah, we've got everything stored in those. So basically, if we got raided, if they stole them, then they've got everything in here. And that's everything. Our diamonds, all of our ingots, which we have a lot of. Uh, this will not work unless it's connected to the controller. And this needs to be connected to power, obviously. The controller has to be touching the ME drive and terminal for it to work but you can also use uh, ME cables for this these ones here you can get different color ones but yeah you can just hook them up with those so our main power supply coming straight off the reactor whenever this starts going low then we know the reactor runs out and I remember that it was low on power so I'm gonna go fill it up quickly yeah right. Let's go fill it up. Oh yeah, this. This is a teleporter. Um, we don't really use it that much. Just to get in the base whenever we go out. I'll show you how it works now. Um, actually, yeah, I will. So... I can make a new um, chemical there. extractor. Alright. So I broke it. New chemical extractor. You can dig... No, it's in the hoppers, Jack. It puts it in the chest. Probably fell in the hoppers. I blocked. You've lost. Oh, seriously, Jack. Right, I'm filling this back up now. Sometimes this reactor does create a bit of lag, so if you ever built one, it might cause you to lag at some points. Where's it gone? Let's get this cobble. Right now, I'll show you what the teleporter does. If I can get back over here. Right, come on, I'm trying to make one. I don't think they're that expensive, are they? No, no, they're not. Oh, they're cheap. Oh my god. Um, so. The motor. Basically, it does a countdown. Five seconds can't see my chat though because I turned it off. Yeah. Right. Back in a minute guys. So that's the teleport shown off. If I missed anything, I don't think I have. I think I've showed a basic overview of the base. Um Oh na now my sound's working. Right. Oh there we go. My sound wasn't working before. Sorry about that, you must have been listening to that in just me, my annoying voice speaking. But oh, Jack, I found the. What the? What? What the hell is going on with this? What? The chemical extractor. It's having a. Sp what the hell? I tried picking it up, but it's like. Where's it gone? It's floating around. Yeah, I know. I can't pick it up. Right, I'm gonna have to break this. Ah, there we go. It was glitched on this. Oh. Right, so I'll fix it now. Sorry about that. No problem. I tried to right, that's working again now. Right, it's a robot. So I'll fuel, I think I'll go put this all in the terminal now. Show you what it's like when you put it in the terminal. Alright, run out here. Come on, Jack. You're my slave. No. These are little robots, or slaves. But we've named them, well, we did name them from other people. Just to scare people off because they would think there's someone's online in our base. Uh, shift click us in. We have a total of 3,128 deuterium. Like this robot there, what Alex will show you the name of it now. Oh wow. <laughs> Jack, that's just so mean. Oh, the oxygen farm. How we get oxygen. I need to show you this. How we get oxygen. Our farm is very big. Oh, oops. Lol. Well, but this is our mean. oxygen farm. As you can see, we have well, a lot of wheat for oxygen. These will have oh. a output of 100%. Uh, 
beside this one here on the end because it's not in the middle. Yeah, 95. That's good enough. This makes all the oxygen bubbles in our base. We have tried setting up an oxygen sealer, but we have a lot of issues with it. So it doesn't work properly. So yeah. It's the oxygen farm. Jump out. Oh. Alright, I think I've pretty much covered everything now, guys. Yeah. I, yeah, I think so. Oh, Alex, you're so disrespectful. You won't even let your friend out. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> Come on. Um, yeah, I think I said it. Yeah, it's just a sealer here, which doesn't work. I, mean, I know it's got no power because I unplugged it, but. Oh, it's I can't, I can't even get up from here. Oh, never mind. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Oh, let me out! That was the video. Let me out! I can't go in now. <laughs> so that's been a quick video on our base that we've done off camera. Because normally every time I do record, just about to record our new base, I get raided. Like last time I was going to show off the that base we had so far, well, but we got raided and I got quite annoyed. But yeah, so. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Um, Take yeah. care. Goodbye. <laughs>